Good evening. This is This Week Tonight with John Irvin on Geno TV. And this evening I've got Brooke Moore with me and she's with a congregational church. Brooke, welcome. Nice to talk to you. So you guys have completed raising a lot of money for the church and you're going to have this kickoff in September with the chain gang. Yes, indeed. We're uh, we're almost to our fundraising goal of $3 million. Okay, you're almost there. Yep, we, we're at $2,666,000 and change actually as of today. Okay. And so we've got about another $335,000 to go. Now, if somebody's watching this and they want to throw some money at the church, how do they do that? There are a couple ways to do that. You could go to um, NantucketFCC.org and there's a link right there to pay through PayPal. Um, we also have an account at the Community Foundation of Nantucket, uh, which you can donate through that. Um, so multiple ways to do it, and we always accept check and cash. And so we sh should probably mention why you guys are raising money and what it's going to. Absolutely. So we're just in the, the very final stages, days away from certificate of occupancy on a lower level restoration of the Old North Vestry, which is the original uh, meeting house that was built out in Kapam um, in the early 1700s, relocated to uh, the current location at 62 Center Street and then moved again in 1830s to make way for the church that you see now with the tall tower. Now, isn't that one of the oldest operating churches in the country? It is indeed, yep, yep. It's a very old congregational church and um, on Nantucket back in the day when there was really no separation of church and state, town meeting took place in that meeting house, the courts were held in that meeting house. So our role as a community church goes all the way back to the beginning to the early 1700s here on and, Nantucket. And since then, and in the not so distant uh, past, uh, they used to have the high school graduations at the church. Absolutely, we've, we've hosted innumerable community events both in the church, um, the summer sanctuary in Bennett Hall, which was actually constructed and was the original gym for the Academy Hill School. So Bennett Hall was. It was indeed. The, the people that I know, like the Bartlett twins um, who attend the church and others in that generation, my age group, mm -hmm. uh, used to walk over from Academy Hill School on rainy days to play in the gym and play basketball. I'll be done. So we are a community church in a big way. And now the uh, theater uses that. Absolutely. Our uh, theater workshop is a tenant in Bennett Hall and they use the space now year round. And in fact, this restoration work that we did in, on, beneath the Old North Vestry included a brand new dressing room for them. And uh, they will also be sharing our updated bathrooms and so on. Well, for so, all the actors and actresses out there, I bet they're excited about that. They are indeed. They're all, they're, they've are they're been using it just the last couple of weeks. We got temporary permission for them in the with the Mamma Mia cast, which was very large, yes. to begin using their space. So Good. it's pretty exciting for all of us. Good. And uh, Now, you've got a band coming in this September to kind of kick things off yep. and kind of celebrate what has been accomplished over there. And that is called the Chain Gang? That is called the Chain Gang, spelled C-H-A-N-E after the Bishop uh, Reverend John Bryson Chain, who uh, back in the 60s, when he was in uh, school in Vermont, he formed a little rock and roll band at call, and they uh, used to play gigs in high school. And then he and John Capron, who were members of the band, went out on their own on separate musical careers in their 20s. And then they had real careers. Uh, Bishop Chain became an Episcopal priest. For all the musicians out there, the previous career was a real career also. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, absolutely. But, uh, but he really had quite um, a famous career in the Episcopal Church, rising to be the Bishop of Washington, D.C., uh, National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. He was also, he's a real voice for peace and reconciliation around the globe. And he uh, was part of the team that represented the State Department in um, negotiating the release of the hikers that wandered into Iran in the 90s. So That's huge. He's a, he's a fascinating guy on so many levels, but he also plays some mean blues and rock and roll. And so this group is coming. Um, they reformed after they all retired, and now they just do fundraising and charity events around the country. And so. as I understand it, one of the band members also used to jam with the Allman Brothers? Uh, that is also true, yeah. Yeah, yeah they have a, a storied history, both as musicians and, and otherwise. And um, they are friends with a couple who are members of our church, and that's how we brought them here. But um, Reverend Chain also is an old fishing buddy of Ralph Hardy, who's an old Nantucketer. So um, okay. the connections here run deep. 
and they're very excited to come and be part of what we are really looking at as a community, inviting the community to celebrate this accomplishment with us because it was funded, um, but for the most part by members of the congregation, but a good chunk of the fundraising we've done so far came from community foundations, local people that aren't connected to the church mm -hmm. as a faith community, as well as the Community Preservation Committee, which we're incredibly grateful for the town for contributing over a half a million dollars to these projects. Now, so, when is the chain gang going to be here? When is the event? September 16th is the event, and um, it's going to be out at the VFW, and we're really looking for this to be a really low-key uh, Nantucket community event and the chain gang one of their philosophies is keeping ticket prices affordable so it, this is a very affordable fundraiser it's fifty dollars a head it includes a, a, a barbecue um, there'll be a cash bar but most of all it's gonna be lots of dancing and fun so we're hoping you know all of Nantucket will take a breath after the craziness of the summer season and join us just to dance the night away. Mid-September, a nice evening with a chain gang for the Congregational Church. What could be better? It's going to be amazing. Yeah, Brooke, thank you very much thank for joining you. us. Thank you. I've enjoyed it.